Greetings fellow Wendigos, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Biotech, The First Wendigo, Episode 2, Diabolus. Okay, hydroponics is done. I think it is time for Wendy to start her career as a constructor. Azarun and Mikkelmus, thank you for the resubs. Oh, speaking of taking her jeans, I could take her Devil Strand Parka. That sounds good to me. Uh, Kish, you are... Yeah, you know what? You can, you can work again. Yeah, I am getting raided by Neanderthals. So, uh, Neanderthals, let's go over to the jeans real quick. They do, in fact, have useful genes to us, not the baseliner. Neanderthals have cold tolerance, robust, strong melee, and reduced pain genes that we want. And then, of course, they have the slow learner gene that we do not want. So there might be an opportunity for... Actually, you know what? I bet Scrubaxier just dies to bugs. I can nearly guarantee it. But, uh... I'm going to change the avoid bugs zone again to not include anything outside of our very primitive perimeter walls. Which will take me a second. Because a lot of them are diagonal, and diagonal zoning is a little extra annoying. <laughs> Just a little. This door is open, so we do have a valid path for him to come in. So I don't need to worry about that. Because we have built one of two doors. Alright, looking good. And I'm going to periodically post these. Oops, not that. So that you can click the links, because for whatever reason, Twitch is blocking links. You're trying to figure out how to get in here, aren't you? You're a little slow, aren't you? Alright, so the next research project you guys wanted is uh, geothermal power. Got it. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but that's fine. I'm just saying, don't put steel in here. And then the lifter will actually start hauling material to where it belongs, which is really cool. Also means I'm going to want a door that drops out to... This area, and let's uh, let's line up the benches. I'm gonna forbid them for now, just so that you can visualize them. So we'll have a bench there that I can't build yet. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Well, lots of misclicks. Benches here that I can't put down yet, and then this room uh, would benefit from uh, space for heaters, and maybe for a light. So. In this spot, in this spot, I'll put lights. And this spot, in this spot, I'll put heaters. Harduk the Agrahand. All right, where are you again? You are charging. I want you on... Actually, group one, um, just dormant self-charge. So that we don't end up making more waste than we need. All right, and all the bugs are currently asleep. Oh, no, you're just dumb enough to fight them all. Bye, Scrub. His name is Scubax, but I'm going to call him Scrub. Oh, I did not forbid this and should have.
I don't know why you're walling it up. Because it's not inside yet, but okay. That just made the rest of the base really, really chilly. I think uh, I'm not going to use Rainy for anything. Where'd your gun go? Did you just drop your gun? You have one task, lady. Nice duster. Alright. The other thing I could do is, uh, vents in those two locations. And then this looks just about ready. Oh, uh, you know what? Maybe I'll, uh, Square it off. I'll have it nice and symmetrical. There you go. Or those that care. So if I have a light fixture up there, let's get power to it. Then I'm also going to want dead power underneath where the grow light goes. So we can turn it off remotely and easily. The um, Mechanator always starts off with a Masterwork bio-coded auto pistol. That's uh, that's just generic, generic start. I'm going to bump out the walls a little bit so that we can actually build those external structures. And then we'll start on the hydroponics. So I'm going to cancel the ones that had started because they're in back. The other thing I might want to do is to incorporate a recharger into this building, but I'm going to do that later. I don't think that's something I need to jump to right now. Urns don't have a, uh... I keep building back there because I don't forbid it. Urns don't have a quality. There's no such thing as a masterwork urn. It's like saying a masterwork club. So, either you're trolling or you don't know how Rimworld works. But either way, that's not a thing. Alright, don't build yourself into the corner. As amusing as that might be. And I'm not going to worry about the gap walls there. Well, you know, maybe I'll double wall it, actually. And have an abundance of uh, temperature caution. Wendy's doing okay. I'm going to keep these pris the prison spots there, because I suspect I'm going to be using them soon. And then this dissolves eventually. So let's go ahead and next project will be the waste room. Yeah, I dropped the pistol on the urn, which might be the confusion, but urns aren't... Urns don't earn a quality. <laughs> Hi, guys. Alright, uh... Let's see here.
Where are you going? What? What's up? Wrong neighborhood. Okay, how about don't shoot the research bench? Quit trying to shoot me. You done came to the wrong neighborhood. You! Baseliner, who's useless, but with clothing that I like. Sounds like a deal. Bye. Uh, I don't have a drug policy right now, so I am gonna set myself to no drugs because I'm not producing any, and I'm gonna leave the other policies. All right, so in the freezer, I'm gonna want human-like and animal corpses that are fresh and toxic waste packs, you know. Keep my uh, food close and my toxins closer is how I roll. Agrahand, we have a work for you. Get planting on the singular planter that I have set up. And a Balkus Trader. I probably can't take on a Balkus Trader, so I'll let them pass unharassed as much as I'd want to fight them. It's probably a very bad idea. All right, so the freezer priority is going to be preferred. And then these corpses and waste packs should be pulled out. The Militor is going to be done in about 10 hours. Let's repair the robot. There, cool. And yeah, we can't take one on yet. True. And right now, it's, uh, it's not actually quite cold enough to keep this as a freezer. So I'm going to set up the electrical systems for it. Hi, don't go in my freezer. You 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 really don't need to be in there. Y'all, your your rams don't need to be in there either. Uh, is there something for me to buy or sell? And then also another thing that I want to do is remove the roof in the donut, in the freezer donut. Uh, let's see. I can sell my incendiary shell and my smoke leaf. Oh, I'll sell the, sell the uh, reinforced barrels, because they sell for a very pretty penny. Fire foam, pot pack, and clothing that I'm not wearing. The wool pants I'm going to keep, because that's probably pretty warm. The wool parka I stripped off? Oh my lord, am I lucky. I stripped a wool parka off of them. Off of those two, two wanderer people. Yeah, you done messed up there, game, giving me all that goodness. And then, um, given that how rare wood is, I'm gonna buy 200, or 250 of it. No, give me more. Give, give me all of it. Three, 310. That's gonna solve a lot of my problems pretty early on. Puppy treat. Alright, here you go. Alright, let's toss that parka on. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna um, not do that. I'm gonna keep this double strand one on until it wears out because it's uh, at 58%, so I might as well wear it for a bit. Stumpy wants to join. Um, sure. Stumpy, uh, you are about to be imprisoned. Have fun. Did you spawn with a... No, pigskin parka. Alright, so for no particular reason, Stumpy, please strip. And take a trip to that southern room. And if you resist... Well, don't resist, because Orange Chaos will smash you to bits. See, I thought of that. That's why I was parking my robot there. 
Oh, Stumpy. You know what? You punched me. I was gonna peg leg you for medical practice, but I ain't got time for that. Enjoy the afterlife. I'll see you in my belly. All right, Militor's done. Let's finish that. Nope, finish that. Extract the sludge and stick another one in. Soul Wayne will haul the toxic waste pack. I don't really know where about that. All right, uh, I do need a place to store steel now. So I'll put that over here. And then I'm going to be annoyed with Stumpy's whole, like, oh, you have a dead colonist, so uh, butcher spot. We're Stumpy. Yeah, the best that Stumpy got in was one sucker punch, and then she died. I do have a new Militor, so let me get the giveaway up. It's up. So Militors are very basic little combat bots that, um... Yeah, that, uh, that have, like, short-range shotguns. All right, all I need is the electrical systems. Ooh, thrombos. All I need is the electrical systems on, and I'll be able to... Oh, dang, and a triple? And I'll be able to freeze these corpses, although it's uh, sub-zero out. So they're frozen. They're not getting spoiled. Actually, you know what, Stumpy? You punched me. I'm going to pull your skull out of your head. Thrombos versus caravans? That's the plan. Uh, but they're leaving, so never mind. I was planning on doing that um, if they stuck around. Because my, my current cast of robots can't take on thrombos. Not unless they freeze to death or something. All right, Agrahan, get to work. Wendy, let's go extract her skull. Forbid the other corpses, so we butcher her next. After you're done. Prisoner died, responsible. You're welcome. And here. Here lies Stumpy's stump. May she rest in peace. The other thing I could do, given that I b bought uh, wood, is now I have the materials for a butcher table. Um, which is nice. Because I didn't have that before. It also looks like, uh, for better or for worse, Orange Cast will need to be spun back up to do some mining. Get him out there. He's at 25%, so you can do about a day of mining and still be at 15, which is good enough for combat for the most part. Parduk, you go self-charge if there's nothing. Oh, actually, there's work for you to do. So go work. Okay, put your humans. And then I'm also going to need to pair that with an electric stove, because I'm not a caveman. I'm not going to be camping, uh, cooking on a campfire. My sun lamp isn't working. I don't have one yet. I don't have the power for it yet. But uh, it's a good reminder that I need to power it on. It was actually the next thing I was going to do once I had a few tables up. Because I think the power draw on these batteries is going to be too great. But we'll see. 
Uh, I'm going to actually move this here so I can use the dead power. So, cook simple meal. Uh, how much meat did I get? 53? So, I'm going to do a batch simple meal and a regular simple meal. And then we'll waste three meat, but that's fine. Or I could eat it raw. Don't really want to risk the food poisoning, but could if I need to. Now, right, get a further the package of bravo meals. And then actually, I might move this. I might move this shelf outside uh, into a kitchen area, like a little mini kitchen area, so that it doesn't spoil for the meals that um, shouldn't be spoiled. For now, I could probably just get away with a vent and not even a uh, freezer. So it doesn't really need to be frozen actively. Jay Wally, congrats. Sub this morning and now you're already a Militor. Uh, if I could find the Militor, here it is. Okay, I caught you perfect time. And there's steel down here, but I think I'm going to make you go dormant before you bother to get that steel. So I'll, I'll have you Orange Chaos mine out the rest of this node and then return back to the center of the base. This is now on. Uh, probably, let's just say negative 7C. And that way it barely has to work. And yep, the donut's correct. It's hollow in the center. So it's it vents out to a chimney. That was some weird pathing. Oh, uh, yeah, actually, that's fine. I don't really need the vent. I could just leave it unroofed. It would have been cold enough. But it's it's so that the meals that aren't packaged survival meals um, don't get spoiled. So on this shelf, I'm going to say no packaged survival meals. And then with my current meal plan... Uh... I'm going to call this perishable. So remove kibble and delete raw, delete baby food, delete aid, delete kibble, delete pack of survival meals, delete everything else, and only perishable cannibal. And I'll make other food restrictions when I need them. But that way, I eat the perishable foods first and leave the non-perishables alone. And I only have five meals that fill that um, that requirement because the other stack is acceptable for everybody. It's traveler's meals that I, uh, I may have may have taken aggressively. The other thing I don't want her to do is I don't want her to wear a flak vest. So, any quality is fine. Tainted is fine because she's bloodlust. But no flat clothing because it slows her down. Because movement speed is going to be really important here on the sea ice. And that way I can re-unforbid. Okay, that's not a word. But um, allow this stuff. Okay, I think it's uh, Operation Sunlight time. So, let's get that on and see how absolutely atrocious it is for our batteries. I suspect it's gonna be pretty bad. And Orange Chaos, you're gonna go dormant self-charge, but uh, closer to the base. So that we're safe. All right, 
17%. That's okay. Another thing I could do after I get the food situation sorted a little bit more is to expand the batteries a little bit and then also... Man, we're really not even using the high-tech research science. Uh, put another wind turbine in. I, I, I would have guessed that you guys would have voted for the... Um, uh, voted for solar because solar is a really good way to offset the needs of hydroponics but you didn't so that's fine uh, I just have to plan accordingly Solar was close until people realized geothermal is on the list. Yeah, I like geothermal. The only issue is component cost is really high. Uh, steel cost is really high. Research cost is astronomically high. So it's a really bad early research to take on because it basically just ties your hands for a long, long time. Oh, some blighters. Enjoy the bugs. They are... Waster, looks like waster, waster, wasters. All wasters. Have fun with the bugs, boys. I'll see you in uh, Valhalla or something. I don't know what you believe in. Something stupid, I'm sure. Your wasters. The almighty Adam. That's what you believe in. One of them must be slow. Or old. Good job. Bye-bye. All right, Miltor's gestation is complete. That means I have yet another giveaway opportunity. And I'm going to gestate yet another Miltor. So this will be the last bot I have the bandwidth for, for a bit. Three Militors and a um, Tunneler is a pretty good defense team, in in my opinion. All right. Given that uh, we're on geothermal power, I am going to double the power storage and power grid that I currently have. Knowing that it's uh, very, very unlikely that I'll have uh, a more reliable source of power for a while. And the other thing that I have my eye on is the need to call in, once I have the last Militor, uh, call in Diabolus, the first mech boss. So that I can get the recharger for Orange Chaos. Because having my Tunneler be perpetually um, out of commission is unacceptable to me. So here's a perfect case of wind goes not blow and my power goes bye bye. Uh, what are you doing? Nothing. Dormant. In fact, Parduke, in fact, you do not have a reason to be outside of the farm except for when you're recharging. So I'm gonna have my Agrahand, who's a relatively important bot for me to keep alive. Zone restricted to the farm. The rattling and I are doing pretty well. Um, the wife could be better, but she's not sick. She's just has, you know, when you just like wake up with a horrible crick in your neck. Yeah, that's her right now, and she's 
Very uncomfortable. It sucks. Oh, it is unusually warm right now. How long do I have on these meals? Three and a half and a day and a half. Okay. I could throw an AC in there. I just didn't want to have to spend the steel. But I might not have the choice. Speaking of which, let's close this door. So that it stays colder. I had originally had the door open so that uh, so that the cold outside air would help chill it, but that's not helpful anymore. All right, Wendy, keep working or rest, one or the other. Sekazan, thank you for the sub. Welcome to the stream, and Jay Wally, thank you for the bits. Happy to get you involved. Uh, one minute left on the timer, and this is for your Militor 1 here, and then I'll have one more Militor coming out. Oh god, Wendy, you're making like a stripped floor swastika here. We're evil, but we're not quite that evil. We're not, I mean, maybe we're, we are, but with not that ideology. Mangala was a hack. He did know how to use fancy robots. Hey, Constructor Butt. Uh, you don't have work right now. Are there things I could break down on the map to yield me useful material? So these are still columns, so that's a yes. Oh, looky, looky. Got a lot of uh, stales and urns and sarcophagi. Um, some marble, and maybe another steel urn. Because robots obviously need to be charged, but they don't care if they have to trudge through unbelievably long-distance treks. They don't have mood. So, I will tell Kish to go on those deconstruct tasks. Carthrain! Congrats on the Militor. And Kish, um, you are as red as you can get, but all robots are dyed the same color. They're not dyed individual colors. So the only way to change the color of your mechs is on this choose mech color, and it changes all mechs all at once. So I'm having Wendy pick her favorite color, which happens to be this sort of burgundy um, as the default. But there's no way to like have individual mechs, individual colors, which is a good mod idea if you are a modder and you are so inclined for custom colors mechs. Because I could totally see combat mechs and, and service mechs, you know, being different colors. Another Balkans trader. Uh, I don't... I have a lot of silver, so maybe I'll buy something. And then you... I'm going to do a new food restriction. Perishable all. So this is... Perishable foods... that have any meat so that I eat those meals next. Last meal tour is in 20 hours. Got it? Are you? Oh, you're self-dormant. Okay, I'm going to carry Sol Wayne to the recharger. Sol Wayne lost battery power while out there. Smexy, thank you for the resub, and you're welcome. You're absolutely welcome. Hey, you guys want waste packs? Just kidding, I know you won't buy that. I'll sell you my human leather. I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of it, 
Just don't ask where it came from. It was ethically sourced, I promise. From the... Um, very willing to part with it. Yep. That's all you need to know. You guys don't even have steel. What bulk goods trader are you? Well, you're a bad one. I'll just go and say it. You suck. So, with the Militor coming out, the next thing I'm going to want is a comms console. Um, the comms console is going to make me, force me to do make some design ideas here. Design decisions. Uh, I'm going to choose to place the comms console here. Why? I, I can't tell you. I don't have a good justification for that. But do I have the steel for it? I do. Nice. So the comms console allows me to summon the Dibolus mech, uh, which is the first mech boss. I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to wait for my last Militor and for the raffle for the last Militor. But, uh, but finally, we're starting on geothermal power. It took a while, didn't it? And for now, I probably can't afford to expand the farm, but Parduk... You've got work. So, in terms of... Uh, man, it is oddly warm out. I guess I will... F I will uh, cool it down. I, I don't really see that I'm going to have a choice. So, Wendy, you know how I said, finally we're researching? Yeah, I, I straight lied. We're not researching right now. We are uh, getting additional resources to keep our frozen foods frozen. And let's expand the uh, the home zone as well. I have it off of uh, automatic home zone, so. Oof. I can't even draw boxes. I mean, it is roughly the extent of my art ability, so. It's the... Yep. That checks out. I'm going to have her just caravan the components so I'd make fewer trips. I do appreciate that Randy sent me that stuff because that stuff is pretty... The components are amazing. 17 components for free? I mean, come on now. Doesn't get much better than that. Vent the AC into the building? Um, normally I would. The issue is sometimes... Sometimes... Like, if if it's warm out, we won't want to do that. So it's not something that you always want, necessarily. Which is why I hesitate. Because there will be times when the inside of the base is too warm. Like, right now, it's actually uh, too warm. It's, it's pushing past 70 Fahrenheit or 20 Celsius... So if we vented in the building, it could drive the temperature up so much that um, work production slows down. So it's a really wise idea, but it's not always something that you're going to want. Which is why I uh, I didn't go that route. I, I did have that thought, though. I don't have a roof on it. I, I, I'm aware. I'm doing it now. I just need one need to flick the vent. There we go. All right, so now the, f the food is actually frozen. And then on the shelf, I'm also going to include raw food. So that... Um, uh, no, there's some raw food that shouldn't be included, like uh, bug stuff. Milk, jelly, fertilized eggs. But um, so that the rice gets stored in there. I don't really need these plans. I know how to double wall. T-minus two hours for the last Militor that I want. So here's the timer for the Militor just ahead of time. And now the current priority is... Fight Diabolus. Yep. Seems a little crazy, because I'm just a fledgling... Uh, 
just a baby colony. But, um, I'll fight you. So this would be the final version with maybe this wall trimmed off and some of it replaced with um, stone so that it couldn't uh, get destroyed. And Meltor is complete. Once Wendy's up, I'll have her pull it from the gestator. I'm not waking her up early because there isn't a new Militor to make. She's at her bandwidth max. The reason I was waking her up in the middle of the night is the Militors go through a gestation cycle, so it takes a while, but there is no delay anymore. Kish, you can go dormant. There's no construction tasks for you. You never did get that door, though. That door would be a, um, a good one to have. So actually, Kish, build that door for Robo Mommy. Thank you. It's a good little robot. And you guys, on your way out, leave this door propped open. Actually, don't. Never mind. I'll prop a door open later. Uh, Solwain. Please prop this door open for me. So if you need to uh, tell a, a robot what to do, but they're outside of your um, radius, you can just zone them. Right? And they'll go to that zone, even though it's not within your control radius. And that way you can tell them what to do without having to run over near it. Because the control radius is only 23, um, 23 squares. And there's no way to expand that. There's no technology or research in vanilla RimWorld Biotech that allows you to, um, to expand the control radius. It's like definitely a balancing mechanic. And one that I entirely understand. I think once I get my first slave, uh, I'm going to have them do a lot of stone cutting for for chunks. So I'm going to start uh, stacking chunks here and hoping that I don't have to expand into this zone. And then I'll also stack chunks here is like a. Uh, this will be like a, um, a cover defense. That goes around the windmills. So this one is going to be low, and then this one will be higher. All right, Militor, Militor is done, and there's one and a half minutes left on that. The other thing that would be wise for me to do is anytime there is slag on the map, I can grab the slag. And um, considering we're waiting, let me mark down... Uh, some rare resources. So we have some plastil there. I don't have gold. So gold is something I should at least buy 20 of it for a multi-analyzer. We need 50 plastil and 20 gold for multi-analyzing. Uh, so components. Oh, that's just steel. There is a bunch of components in the bug area, but I am not going to get access to that until those bugs are dead. Components there. Silver. Don't see any uranium, which is too bad, because I like uranium turrets. More components. I also don't see any ancient dangers. Uh, I don't think I am going to pull for the X-raying into the mountain. Well, I guess I can pull. Jade. Oh, I found some jade. That's going to be good for a throne room. I haven't had a sovereign in a long time. I haven't been working on my, um, on my uh, royal... I haven't had any series taking advantage of uh, royalty DLC other than just sidecasts in a long time. Hi, buddy. Oh, they want me to give you treats. No dog deserves more treats than you. All right, I think I have... Oh, oh there's components there, too. Oh, what's this? Silver? Okay. It's good enough. Uh, two, one, and go. Ha, <laughs> you won twice? That is rigged. All right, I'll re-row that. What's the... Yeah, the last one is a Militor, so it's not even like a... It's a lateral change. A Waza. Congratulations, you are now my Militor. Laws of the One. Alright, Wendy. 
You are going to be research over construct. And let's summon the Diabolus threat. So it's bringing in a Diabolus and three Militors. And just in case, I'll save. I don't, I hope it's not necessary, but we'll see. I'm also going to slap on this uh, Flak Vest. And I called the Diabolus kind of late at night, but that's fine. Making sure that my mechs are all set on the correct allowed areas. Most of them are just dormant self-charging. Only two are working. That's a quick Diabolus. Oh, I felt like I uh, took my, my, my time on it. I'm an uh, hour and 40 minutes in. Yeah, I I'm slow. All this edumacating I'm having to do about game mechanics. All right, so here it is. Three Militors and a Diabolus. The Diabolus is, uh, well, I'm not going to ruin the fight, but yeah, it's a potentially very dangerous mech that has some strong counters. So counter when we can. Cheers. And it will not hang out forever. It will decide to attack me. And I'm just going to let it come to me. I don't want to have to do running. I'm lazy. Is this just granite? Yeah. Uh, question. Should I X-ray exploit the mountain? Yes or no. So the X-ray exploit allows me to see hollow sections and mountains that I shouldn't otherwise be able to see. And I'm just going to let you guys vote on whether I do or not. So uh, two and a half minutes on that. Oh. 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 Hey, um, Soul Wayne, we have a unique opportunity of really, really dumb people that want to be really, really dumb. Go close this door for me, please. If I can close the door, uh, their valid target is going to be the Diabolus and not me. So... And the Soul Wayne, uh, I'm going to have you go dormant right here so that I can have you open the door and close the door. So one of them is going to the Diabolus and the other two are going to the bugs. Because the bugs are valid targets as well. So this one is going to... You'll be able to see the Diabolus in action. So let me, uh, let me turn red. So the Diabolus has sort of like a passive cannon that it fires at. And then the Mega Cannon. Yep. Dude, did you just ruin my food? Can't believe you. So irresponsible. Soul Wayne, open this door back up for the Diabolus. And then you... In fact, all of you... I'm going to create a new zone here. Call it inside. Mechs inside. And then me inside as well. And I'm going to leave this door open so the Diabolus has a, uh, a active way to get to me. The other punks are real dead. They brought in Molotovs, which is going to be useful, and medicine. That's nice. And this one was a pigskin. And then the other was... I don't even know what they were. I think another pigskin that's on fire and his corpse is going to go poof. Enemy of my enemy is my friend. All right, you guys do want me to x-ray the mountain. Well, that's a, that's a done hive. All the hives have been destroyed. 
So that means that these bugs are no longer bound to the hives. They're kind of wild. So what I'm doing now is I'm having every robot on group one escort me. We're going to book it down here. Actually. Ouch. Let me get back inside. I should have gone earlier and didn't. I want to break line of sight is what I'm trying to do. So I think the Militors are dead that it brought in. Uh, one, two, and three. Three dead Militors. Oh, don't do that. Now you're just being a jerk for no reason. Harduke, uh, you can actually sit this one out because you're really not a robot that's going to be useful at all in this fight. The Diabolus uses a lot of fire, as you can see. And I think I'm going to have Wendy mostly just fight the fire. I wanted to take him on here, but again, I was slow on the draw. Where are you going? Stop lasering my stuff. Bye bye, power grid. He's dead. Group one, dormant self charge, and Kish join group two, and Solwayne join group two. Schedule: avoid bugs. Mex avoid bugs except for Parduke, which is in the farm. Let's get our walls back and then our power grid back. Orange Cass, you are going to join group two for work as well, and you are going to do some mining for me. Uh, I think my rice harvest just went poof because of it got cold, got outside. Where am I even grabbing food here? I don't know. Thank you for watching RimWorld Biotech, the first Wendigo, which originally streamed live on Twitch October 27th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that made it all the way to the credits and support the channel. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow mad scientists. <laughs>